Well, my friends, a story as old as history itself. What would happen if the French joined the Confederacy in the American Civil War? The Confederates hold on to their cotton and decide not to trade it. There suddenly occurs a major cotton shortage, of course, in Europe. And as a result, they declare war on the Union. How would that go? Well, today we're going to be playing the first battle here, a multiplayer battle, as a matter of fact, against Belgian Guy to see exactly what would happen in such a scenario. We're going to go ahead and turn it over to the French, let them advance. And what I'm going to try to do is get a good setup here in these woods. We love to turn these woods into hornet's nests. Now, in this particular fight, we have no cavalry. We simply have artillery and infantry, really quite similar to how a fight at this particular time period and in this part of the world would happen. Well, now we've got a situation, my friends. The battle is beginning, and currently um, there is a slight issue with the charge mechanic, so we really are trying to play this well like a proper battle in the time period. I'm going to do everything I can to, of course, support um, this artillery unit. But I think right now we're not going to be able to necessarily join up with it. What we can do is start moving these guys towards the enemy. I don't like the fact that they're in cover and we aren't. But what we can do is really try to exploit this part of the forest. Um, so we're going to start moving our guys in sort of an, at an angle here. I think you can see that. And hopefully uh, the enemy will be taking the bait. In fact, I'm not entirely happy with that movement. I kind of wanted him. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. And we're going to be bringing these guys in as well. Although, again, I'd prefer a sort of different kind of movement here. We simply might need to bring these guys in the old-fashioned way from the flank. Make sure they're facing the right way. They are indeed. Yeah, we're going to put them right about there. Now, that's not the best defense. What I might try to do is sort of keep this infantry unit over here on the flank to fire at the enemy that tries to come through here, but I don't think that benefits us in any way. Um, I think what we need to do is reposition this guy so that we're more on this side of the field. That's where we have the only real advantage. Also, make sure we can't take a shot. It does look like there are opportunities here to potentially fire, although not currently at the enemy. All right, let's go for it. Hopefully this is the right move. Certainly the battle is gonna commence and this is going to be a quick one for sure, guys. There we go, a frontal hit with the cannons. They're gonna open fire there on our men. And they certainly are there doing some immediate damage to those cannons. I'm hoping that our artillery here is still gonna get a good shot off, but I'm not sure. There are so many Frenchmen there on the ground. It's gonna be tough to stop them all, that's for sure. He's got his artillery there at the edge of the woods, and I think he's spreading the other artillery over here at the edge as well. A great move. He knows we can't go for a charge, so using that arty is absolutely the right thing to do. Try and bombard our units. We're definitely going to have to move this guy out of the way. So what I see is a huge clump of potential targets here. Boom. Boom. We're not going to fire at our own men, but with this artillery, we are going to go ahead and give another shot directly into the enemy. And look at that. We might be able to get two shots here. What I'd like to do is move forward or start moving forward with this infantry. And look at that. They can get a third shot. Now, that's assuming he actually sticks around there. Uh, I don't think that's very likely to happen. But what I will do... Eh, you know what I rarely do here? First of all, I want to make sure that that's correct. <clears throat> what I rarely do is just kind of use this button right here or even change formation. I'm gonna maybe just use the fire at will button although yeah let's do the fire at will button 
And with this infantry, again, we have to move him out of the way, right? For sure. There's just no way around that. But there's also a lot of enemies over here. So maybe we'll simply reassign him over here into reserve. That'll have to do. Um, I think just in an effort to push this guy away from that large group of enemies. We'll take this unit. And we're going to chug right up the middle. Starting to move in with this guy. I think this guy's going to end up engaging that unit right there. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Let's see how it goes. So there we go, frontal hit. They're, of course, going to get the first shot there with their um, infantry. We got a second frontal hit there from our artillery. Moving up with the infantry, they should get a third shot. At least that's the idea. And sure enough, we broke that first group. But they still got a ton of groups over here forming up, guys. And look at that. Looks like some infantry getting on our flanks. We're falling back there to position, of course. And we did take a frontal hit there on our own artillery. Not going to let it bother us too much, though. That's what I'm concerned about, is the enemy on our flank. So let's immediately deal with that situation. Open fire. And this is a sharpshooter unit, guys. The New York sharpshooters. Um, so they're actually quite good at this. What I want to do, should have probably done this first. I'm going to flip this guy around. Open fire right there. With the artillery back here. Look at that. We can actually get a shot all the way um, all the way to the rear of the battlefield. I guess we can go ahead and shoot there. Why not? This unit is certain to fall this turn. Although one thing we could do... No, that's not going to work. And we could do that. Look at that. Readjusting our men. Now, of course, we're in the woods. Although we're still not getting a frontal shot on those units, which is kind of frustrating, to say the least. Uh, but what if we move him into position here, facing the enemy? And I'm going to go for the front line. I like it. And we might even be able to get a shot off. Although unlikely. Hmm. I don't think there's any way around getting a flank shot here. I really don't. So at a minimum, we'll open up on them there. Um, and we'll start moving forward, of course, with this unit. And as for the sharpshooters, you know what? We're going to push them this way, and ooh, we might be able to get a shot. That's, again, assuming this guy doesn't move, and I'm almost certain he's going to. But here we go. Nice movement there in the center by the French. All right, side hit. So we're looking for Guys flipped around. Are they going to fire? Not without the enemy firing first. Frontal hit. Cut that guy in half. Pretty nice. Let's get into position, but they're going to chop our guys over here into bits. And actually, he got a really nice shot on us, but it would have been much worse had we been turned to our flanks. So he's opening the flank even more. Really, really well done there. He's just expanding that line. I like it. Come on, lads. We should get a volley. At least one nice little volley here. Now, that was my mistake there. No, actually, they are turned towards the enemy. Never mind. Definitely coming down to the last few shots. Wait, he might... Think we, our sharpshooters might get a shot here. Man, I hope so. 
Should get one, I believe. Huh, I was almost certain we should have gotten that last shot. But I'll be the first to admit that I could be wrong. So let's open fire there. Uh, open fire with these sharpshooters too. And I'm hoping that that's actually going to knock them out because my plan here is to fire into the enemy's flanks here, you see? With everything I've got, just fire into their flanks. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that that's enough to completely stop the enemy. Now, we're also going to turn this guy around because I see them, of course, maneuvering around to flank us. We can't have that, so let's turn him around. Oh, my bad. Didn't want to do that. Sorry. Uh, next page. Maybe not. I simply want to bring him forward like that. And look at that. We'll even get a shot out of it. There are two units here, so quite a few Frenchmen there. And considering that these guys are closest to our other group, you know what? I almost feel like putting damage on them, but since these guys are together, eh. It's still going to hit the frontal unit no matter what happens. So I'll fire at that guy. And as for our infantry, I don't really like that. As for our infantry, we'll also fire at that same guy, or maybe we have no choice. Yeah, we might have to fire over here. Yeah, fair enough. I think that's going to be about it. Let's see how things go, how things play out. The goal is, of course, wiping that unit out. That's so important. We've got to kill that guy. There we go. We could have gotten him just one volley. The sharpshooters got him. Here we go. Give me that nice volley into their flanks. And, of course, they're crushing our existing artillery unit right there. There we go. Side shot. Frontal hit shot. And another frontal shot. He's still up and at him, though. He absolutely is. So is our infantry, though, to be to be clear. All right. Wow. Rough situation. I mean, it's a nice little fight here. Of course, we've lost that artillery. That's not coming back. But in terms of uh, all of our infantry units, I don't think we've lost a single one yet. So we're going to keep on pushing forward here with the um, sharpshooters. And of course, I want to keep firing at that unit. I get the feeling that we're about to break him. Boom. And yeah, there's no stopping this guy, so this is what I'll do instead. I'll switch turn around, and I'm going to exclusively fire at the enemy here. Now, of course, we're going to take a shot from these two. That's the danger. There's not all that much we can do about that right now. What we could do is turn the cannon around and start firing in that direction next turn. And I'm also going to send the sharpshooters uh, into that front line. Start moving into that direction, of course. They are facing the right way. I'm not sure why they're not. They may need to face first. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, they're going to face this turn. They've fired already. They've fired. I just want to make absolutely sure we've expelled all rounds. I'm sure we have. Let's go for it. Here we go. May the battle continue. The first engagement between the French Republic and the United States. There we go. That is a frontal hit. Not very effective. And there we go. Sent one group scurrying. But of course, I'm still very concerned about this group. Now, this is where we're turning around to open fire on them. They went for a shot, but thankfully, since we turned, it only counted as a frontal hit, which of course isn't as much damage um, for our guys. But I think they're gonna outgun us here for sure. Nice. 
nice and bogged down indeed. What should we do in this situation? So we need to look for opportunities to, well, pretty much chop the enemy down really quickly. Um, charging is out of the question. Unfortunately, using that cannon this turn is out of the question, but we can open fire. Do the same with this guy. We can turn him around. And while we can't open fire this turn, we can prepare to open fire, and we can also, hopefully, completely eviscerate that unit right there. Boom. Now, even this is a bit risky, but... Eh, eh, eh. Do something like that. There we go. Do something like that. And I barely even noticed, but they do have uh, that artillery all the way back there. Interesting. Interesting indeed. And I think we're set. We're ready to go. Oh, that's right. One more group of snipers, or sharpshooters, or is the more appropriate term. And I'm going to try and move them over here. Again, I don't know why it always does that kind of movement. Hold on. So I just really want to move them forward. There we go. So hopefully they can be on the battlefield next turn. Let's see what happens. Nice frontal hit there from the enemy almost immediately. They're really trying to wear down our guys here in the woods. They don't want them to become a problem, and I can't say I blame them. And look at that. They're actually falling back with those units. Really good move here. And tremendous. He did a great job. He destroyed our unit. We also destroyed that French unit. So, of course, the fighting between both of them was brutal. Really brutal. Um, but, of course, he did a great job coming out on top. So, now my focus is almost going to have to be exclusively these guys, I think. Um, let me just make sure I don't have any opportunities to quickly destroy one of these. I don't think so. So what I'm going to do... Boom. And of course, I am going to leave the cover of the forest to do this, but this is just so that I can get the absolute best volleys possible. Look at that. If this works out, if this actually works out, and I'm genuinely not sure it's going to work out, um, this would be an opportunity to pretty much destroy that unit or that group of units without much of a fuss. So here's what I'll do. I'm going to fire with this unit. After he's done firing, we're going to move our sharpshooters up. They're going to go into the front line. So they're going to take the damage uh, from the next shots. This unit is going to just continue the shooting over there. Hopefully everything goes as planned. Here we go, folks. This needs to work like clockwork, if it's going to work, of course. Trying to stop the French invader here. Oh, look at that. He moved out of position very quickly. Guess he was not interested in taking continuous shots there. <laughs> Pretty nice move. He may have even anticipated that I would get into that sector as well. Although, still, breaking him down pretty well here, but taking those rear hits, that's going to hurt. And there we go. We've got our sharpshooters in the group. Got a nice frontal hit. Let's keep it going here. I mean, we seem to be doing pretty well against that unit. So I say, why stop? Let's try and shoot him down for good. Boom. Boom. I'm hoping that's going to be more than enough. 
But since I'm not entirely sure, I don't know. Wait a minute, why? What in the world? There we go. I think because it's the secondary unit. We could also just uh, hold on there with him, with this guy, fire. There we go. And then we're simply gonna boom. Boom. And with our artillery, Again, it could be a cover issue here. So here we go, folks, pushing forward. Let's go. All right, there's the first hit. Second frontal hit, but he's still hanging around just barely there. Boom, broke one of those groups there. Nice flanking shot there on our infantry. We're going to have to do something about them, of course. I think the first thing we got to do is shoot that guy down. Shoot that group down quickly. Uh, and hopefully we can manage just that. Nice back hit there. That was fantastic. So I'm not sure if you guys saw that, but he did manage to get a flanking shot on that unit. Just a fantastic approach. And what I'm going to try to do, although this will be a tough one, I think. Is just go ahead and continue firing at this unit. The 18th Regiment. And the only reason I'm firing at that guy right there is because we get a flanking shot. That's pretty much it. Um... There we go, frontal hit, he's breaking. A very close fight, but I think uh, Belgian guy here is gonna have the win. We just have, pretty much if he breaks one more of our units, I'm pretty sure it's over. Nice back hit there. Great frontal hit, he's of course got a nice uphill advantage there uh, with that piece of earth there, that's a good one. And you can tell the battlefield is an absolute bloodbath just vicious throughout here we go so of course they first things first I want to make sure that we go ahead open fire what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open fire there and then I'll bring the sharpshooters in they will, of course, take the front line, just like we did before. And that'll have to do. As sort of a last-ditch effort to keep the French away. I think at a minimum, that army isn't going to be doing much damage uh, to any of our other armies. We certainly showed them that Americans can withstand them, at least initially. But let's see how Belgian guy decides to end this one. He should be able to just get a good old-fashioned attack here and shut us down for good. Here we go. He's actually moving the position on the hill really nicely done there. Our guys will essentially be firing into nothingness. And there we go. A frontal hit there by Belgian guy. And that's going to be the GG right there. He just broke that unit. What a fun 
fight. I mean, look at that. So certainly you can do all sorts of alternate history battles just like we did here. It's completely up to you. Highly recommend you check them out. And a special thanks to Belgian guy for a multiplayer fight. America versus France. How do you think it should have gone? Thank you so much, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and consider becoming a channel member.